I feel like it's finally time for me to be completely honest with you guys. Recently, I have been obsessed with K-pop. You know, I never thought of myself as someone who'd really be into K-pop. I just never saw myself as a stan, and now here I am. So the way it happened was I was just scrolling through my YouTube recommended, and I saw a picture of Hobie as a thumbnail of a BTS compilation. It was titled like, Funny BTS Moments or something like that, and it was only 10 minutes long. So I was like, you know what? I might as well check it out, might as well watch it. And then those 10 minutes ended up turning into an hour. And while I was in the whole K-pop algorithm, I stumbled across my friend Yuri's YouTube video where she applied to some K-pop agencies, which I will link down below. And I thought, wait, that sounds like a really great idea. So today, I will be auditioning for K-pop agencies. There are a whole bunch of categories to apply for, like modeling, dancing, acting, singing. And I thought that I would apply for the singing and acting category. However, I realized that there are three big problems. The first one is I'm not Korean, so I have a very minimal understanding of the Korean language. Second, I have zero acting experience except for the time in sixth grade where I was literally a cloudsman in James and the Giant Peach. And I failed my choir edition in middle school. So uh, I'm gonna give it my best shot and I'll take you guys along the whole application process. I definitely think it'll be really fun. So the monologue I decided to do was from It's Okay to Not Be Okay. <laughs> It's a lot harder than I thought. <clears throat> I think I got like the first two lines kind of down, but I'm not sure like how good it is out of 10. Literally doing this phonetically and listening to the video and then repeating what he's saying. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Erica. I was about to go to sleep and then Fred texted me that I have to react to a video. So, this is the video. Okay, we're gonna react to Fred's video. It's buffering. Why does he look like that? <laughs> Genuinely scared. Slate, <laughs> one, two, three. Hey, why is it buffering? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just had an urge to throw up just now. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I would reject you if you were in a movie. I don't know. Um, the accent wasn't that bad. No, I mean like, the Korean wasn't that bad. It was just like... The urge to throw up was there. <laughs> good job. All right. Well, that's that's that. Oh my god, that was oh so god. good. That was so good. Yeah, that was really good. On point. On point. Clean. Out of ten, it's like eleven. Yeah. It's out of this world. <laughs> so good. <The> emotions. <laughs> So Yuri's video actually helped me a lot in understanding the types of online editions. There are the online forms that you can fill out on the websites. 
There's also email where you can do the exact same thing, but you send it over an email. And then there are the cacao talk editions. They also want me to send in some pictures. Most of them just want a close up face picture, a bus shot, and a full body shot. Hopefully, I don't have any boogers. <laughs> okay, good. And then for the singing part, I decided to cover a song by one of my favorite Korean artists, Sam Kim. The song is called Your Song, and it's one of the first pieces on the guitar that I learned how to play. Well, the problem is I haven't touched the guitar in like two years, so I'm definitely going to practice a lot more to turn it into anything. There's also a lot more Korean that I have to learn for this song too. And obviously my Korean is not great, so I'm going to be calling and bothering my Korean friends a lot to help me pronounce a lot of these words. I probably worked harder this whole week than I ever have for school. I really doubt there's gonna be any update on this video because there's like a 0% chance that I get into any of these agencies, especially with all the actually talented people who deserve to be in these K-pop agencies. But nonetheless, it was a really fun experience and I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone. I feel like I learned a lot about what I can do. Let me rephrase that. I feel like I learned a lot about what I can't do. I hope you guys found this video very entertaining and you guys enjoyed watching me struggle. I don't think you understand how hard it was for me to like pronounce all the new Korean words. Like my friends were all just roasting me and saying, you suck, like it's, you're just doing it completely wrong. And thank you for sticking by until the end. I will see you in my next video.